so but uh, only only onto people who phone me but um yeah, they normally use zoom these days and then there's that's a whole lot of them that's true i i'm still old-fashioned but uh, <laughs> i haven't <laughs> caught up with you yet <laughs> yeah 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 let let me start uh, this uh, conversation with with your quote you say I, I have a book here by the way yeah I think that's it yes it's your book it's my book I'm, yes. I'm carrying it with me and and giving it to other people okay <laughs> i want to caution you against my any faults of optimism you may derive from reading this book whatever benefit you stand to derive will be entirely dependent upon the effort you are prepared to invest in your own physical and mental fitness nothing more and nothing less right so <laughs> that's telling you tough man <laughs> yeah telling you as it is yeah right. so like you, you you look fantastic by the way thank, thank you yeah and uh, and we, we we you have a fan club here in 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 new york of yours mm -hmm. okay this is Dr. Dr. Art Dubois, and he's my partner in Ping Pong Parkinson. All right, okay. Since, since we spoke last time, we, we, I organized the World Championship of uh, Ping Pong Parkinson. All and right. And, and it's spreading all over the world. Good. You know why it works, don't you? Excuse me? You know why it works? Yeah, because I'm moving. No, it's because you're using your brain to make your movements. Yes. You see, you've got a conscious brain and a subconscious brain. Yeah. You were trying, normally, um, before you had Parkinson's, you used your subconscious to control your walking and most of your movements. That doesn't work anymore. Correct. So you have to use the conscious brain now. It's not on that side or that side, somewhere inside. Yeah. You have to use your conscious brain to do the walking. But with dancing and ping pong, you're using your conscious brain all the time. That's why you can do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It, yeah it's 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 interesting how people, uh, how people uh, uh, who can barely walk, or they they are brought in the wheelchairs. Yeah. They stand up and they play ping pong. Exactly. I I stand them up straight away and show them how to walk straight away by showing them how to concentrate on the actual movement, not trying to will themselves to walk, and they work perfectly well. Yeah. I've got it. A guy who phoned me from New York also the other day, or a lady, and um, she, uh, she gave me the name of somebody, it wasn't New York, it was San Francisco, gave me the name of a guy who was a professional golfer, and he, he got so bad that he, he became wheelchair bound. He read my story, he didn't even speak to me, he read the story, he got up and started walking the way I told him to do. And he's playing golf again. He plays three games a week, and he yeah. couldn't walk before. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, in, in in short, uh, tell us uh, how 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 do you do it uh, exactly? Well, it's in the book, but um, I'll yes. tell you as many times as you like. Yeah. If you if you know that what I'm telling you works, which I'm, I can assure you it does, everybody in the whole world that we've been to. And we spoke to people all over the English-speaking world recently in the last two years or so. And everybody can do it. Not one single person was unable to do it. So what I do, I ask them to stand up and I hold my arm underneath their arm through elbow to elbow. So my arm is inside their arm, which is against my ribs. And I say to them, right, stand up straight. So that's a first conscious movement. Stand up straight. Yeah. Yeah. Then put all your weight onto your left foot. Put all your weight onto your left foot. Now you can move your right foot. Show me how far you can move it. And they can stand their leg up there like that. Yeah. And I said, you don't have to move it that far. Just move it out enough to walk a proper step. So they put it out. I say, right, now land on the heel. Put the other leg out. And they land on the And we're walking. Yeah. Because yeah. they are thinking about landing that foot and they're thinking about which leg they're standing on. And they they just carry on walking. Yeah. So within a minute. 
Yeah. So you walk uh, three times a week. That's basically. correct. Yeah. Three times a week. And how how your weight? You are you carrying your weights in both hands? Yeah. No, I carry. Um, yeah, I, I've got them in the other room. Yeah. But it's a one kilogram weight in both hands. E each one is one kilo. That's correct. Yes. So two pounds approximately each. In each hand, yes, two point two pounds. Okay, two point two pounds. Right. And uh, what did I want to ask you? So yeah, now medication. Uh, how did you how did you stop using medication? And is, is what is it? Uh, no, you the didn't stop. The, the MAOB inhibitor is not a dopamine in, uh, in pocket, uh, dopamine um, medication. You know what dopamine does. Do you know what dopamine does? I, 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 we produce dopamine. You produce dopamine in the brain, yes. That's why with walking you, you produce more dopamine. With an MAOB inhibitor, it stops the breakdown of the dopamine you've already got in your brain. So you get to use more of the dopamine you've got. So you don't have to put dopamine in the form of levodopa, which is what cinnamon does. Yeah which only lasts for two or three hours, and then you're actually worse off than you were when you started. Yeah. And, it just, and it's all just tiny little bit, but at those tiny little bit adds up. At the end, after a, a few years, the cinnamon doesn't work anymore. But you don't need it in the first place. Yeah. If you take an MAOB inhibitor and do fast walking, you can get over your Parkinson's. You can overcome it. Yeah. I've still got Parkinson's. I still have a lot of problems constipation, uh, insomnia, my hands shake terribly when I don't control them. I can control my shake. There it is. No, no shaking. Yeah. But if I get stressed, this is what I, you know, it's, I can't control it. Correct, correct. So I, I control my stress levels. I, I do brain exercises, Sudoku puzzles. You know what Sudoku is? Sure. You've got to keep, you've got to get this brain working again. Do lots of brain exercises, play card games, bridge, um, uh, any form of card game, you have to think. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Um, uh, crossword puzzles, Sudoku puzzles, anything to make this brain active. Yeah, yeah. Um, do you do your walking, um, medication, uh, the MAOB inhibitor, stress management. Um, I wrote it all down here for somebody yesterday. Okay. Um, the um, knowing how to consciously control your movements. In other words, instead of trying to will yourself to walk, you consciously put stand on one leg, put your weight on the other leg, stand on that leg, and put the weight on the other leg. Yeah. And the, the, as long as you keep doing that, it works. You know? yeah. um, attitude. If you've got a, you've got the right attitude already. Yeah. Um, if you have the right attitude to find solutions rather than saying, oh, me, I've got this, and I can't get rid of it, you know. If you feel sorry for yourself, you're not going to get anywhere. Okay. That's it. That's all you have to do. Yeah. So tell me, how did you, how did you get rid of the medication? Slowly or? or no. When, once, I'd, once I'd done the walking for several years, Okay. I had got my brain so much dopamine in it and producing so much dopamine, I didn't need any medication. But what was the process? How in, in well, Slowly of the medicine or no? No, with an MAOB inhibitor, you're either taking it or you're not. You can't take half a pill or a quarter of a pill or something. It's only, it's, it, mine was two pills a day. If you don't take both of them in, you might as well not take any. I just stopped taking it. I could feel the difference for about three or four months, and I had to think a lot harder. But your brain has been programmed to, to thinking that you can't stop the medication. So you, oh, I can't do that. You know, they've been told me I can't stop. Correct. There's no reason why you can't stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no, no reason why you can't stop. So you stopped cold turkey, what they call. That's you correct. That's right. Twice I did that. When right. I was taking the cinnamon for two years, I changed to the MAOB. 
no, no, um, slowly going off, just went off of it and took the MAOB. What's, MA was What's MAOB? MAOB is the type of medication, monoamine oxidase beta. Um, monoamine oxidase is um, an inhibitor. It inhibits the breakdown of dopamine in your brain. Every chemical you produce in your brain, sex hormones, all these things, they're all produced in the brain. If you don't use them within a certain time, the body is programmed to get rid of them, all of them, if you haven't used it. Otherwise, it builds up and builds up and builds up and causes you a lot of problems. Yeah. So you, it does this with dopamine. Even though you're short of dopamine, when you're sleeping, you're not using any dopamine. So what you produce then gets thrown away because you haven't used it. Yeah. But if if you are producing more dopamine, you don't have to worry about those things. Yeah. So you, you you dropped medication once, and then you got, went back to the medication. I, I, at the end of the eight years, I came off medication because my blood pressure was up to two sixty over one ninety, wow. which is rather high. Okay, and it's caused by um, monoamine oxidase (MAOBs). They cause high blood pressure. Okay. So I came off. I had to come off. Otherwise, it would have killed me. Yeah. And then I thought, well, I, I need this. I didn't know that I didn't need it. But because I'd been trained to, to know that I need it. Right, right. Um, you see, I went three months and then I thought, well, I'll go back just for a short while and see if it raises my blood pressure, which it did. And I came off it again. And then three months later, I went on to it again. And after that, I stopped going back on to it. And within three months, I came right. And how did you how how did you manage these three months? Will you, will you be well, shaking? I just did my walking every second day, and and I consciously do everything that I want to do, yeah. which is no problem. Yeah, but did you shake a lot? Much much more? I still shake. Um, okay. If I'm stressed, so I have to I have to check my stress levels, and concentrate on holding my hand still. Okay. Yeah. Uh, if it if it's shaking like this, like down here, it, that's I've got a. You can't see it, but I've now got a, a resting tremor. With a resting tremor, if you hold your your fist like this, it stops because you're not resting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you hold your hand out like this, it stops because you're not. You are using your hand. Well, if you if you move, there is no shake. If you move, there's no shake. That's right. That's like with a I, resting tremor. If I, would, if, if I would dance to the refrigerator, like dancing to the refrigerator, nothing would happen. I right. would just calm. Right. That's what they say. Okay. Dance to the refrigerator. <laughs> well, do you get there? Sure, to I get there. Okay. Yeah. So, now, and, and when, when I'm stressed, I can't write at all. I can't use the phone. I can't do anything until I... Consciously do everything slowly, slowly, slowly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then, then I can write slowly. And when the stress is under control, it disappears. Yeah, yeah. For, so, for, yeah. for me, it's important that I have television shows that I have to be live performance for an hour. Okay. Yeah. That's that's very stressful. So what what I I, I used to drink is propan propanol. Mm -hmm. but, uh, I've heard of it. I don't know it. It's a beta blocker. Has, it's not levodopa. It's just beta blocker. No. It just okay. calm, calms you down. And then well, well, if, it, if it works, that's fine. No. Okay. Yeah. I'll, Does I'll, it have I'll, side effects? Yeah, I'll bring the, the medicine that I use. I don't know if you know. It's in no, the kitchen. No, propanol. I'll, propanol is, um, that's what you're using. No, no. I'll no. just bring it just for a second. No, okay. No, no. no. They say it's an agonist. It's a, it's a pra, pramipexol. Yes, pramipexol. No, yes, okay. It's like this. Yes, I know, I, I know the one, pramipexol, yes. Yeah. Uh, uh, I know it. Yeah. And, yet, and the other one is levodopa, which is 
Carbidopa Carbidopa, yeah. Now, those are the ones, these, both of these are the ones that are not doing you any good. Yeah, yeah. They become cumulative. They don't stop. They accumulate the side effects. Eventually, you, you basically are locked into them. How long have you been taking them? A couple of years. Okay, that's, that's already a long time. But yeah. how, many, how many of you each are you taking a day? I'm taking one a day uh, of uh, Pramipexol. It's 1.5 milligrams. Once right. a day. And, and? And Levodopa, uh, one and a half tablets, three times a day. There's the problem. Yeah. Now, what I would suggest to you, if you're doing the walking, if you're not doing the walking, I can't help you, okay? Because you're not, you're not replacing the brain cells. But if, if I'm not play, doing... If I'm playing ping pong instead of walking, is that the same? And it's not the same, no. It's not the same. You, you can't, unless you could hit that ball all the time without stopping for an hour. I'm walking fast for an hour, yeah. and I, my brain thinks I'm in trouble. You've heard of fight or flight? No. If, you, if the brain, well, there's something called fight or flight. When the brain thinks you're in trouble, yeah. in other words, your reaction, which is when your brain thinks itself, if your reaction is that it thinks you are fighting or you're running away from something, it produces what is known as growth factor right throughout your body. Every cell in your, every different type of cell in your body um, um, has a growth factor to repair it or replace it if it gets damaged. Do you know that? No, I don't know that. It's called growth factor. Right? Write it down if you would. I think I heard, I think I heard of it, but, uh, but okay. I... Sure. The, one growth, the one growth factor that we want is called GDNF, glial-derived neurotrophic factor. Yes, I heard about it's it. It's in your book. It's in your book. Yes, yes, I, I've heard it and I read about it. Yeah. Okay. Now, GDNF is produced by the brain when you do fast walking. It isn't produced in anything else that I know to the extent that it is with fast walking. Okay. But why would it think you're in trouble with playing um, playing um, ping pong. It doesn't think you're in trouble. You're enjoying it. <laughs> now, when, I, when I'm walking fast, I'm putting a lot into it and it's not comfortable. But so what? You know, um, it's, it's what I have to do. Yeah. Now, so how, how, what's, what's the distance that you walk? It's seven kilometers or? I still walk seven k's, yes, seven in k. an hour. Seven k in an hour, yeah. Yeah, and okay. I'm 85 years of age. Yeah, you look, you look fantastic. I, I, Thank you. Second time I'm saying, but uh, but uh, sincerely, and and uh, you you are you're smiling. Your, your facial expression is good. It's good. Yeah, it didn't used to be. Yeah. You see, I produced enough dopamine, enough um, dopamine producing cells in my brain to produce enough dopamine to live a normal life. But when I stop the walking, it goes back down again. Yeah. Because yeah. I'm not producing. Yeah. The, 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 the um, Parkinson's is still killing brain cells, and I'm still replacing brain cells. So I stay normal. Yeah, yeah. If you're not doing that, you're going downhill. And yeah. those medicines that you are taking have got side effects, and those side effects build up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So just be careful. If you can go for a whole week taking one half of a pill less, in other words, take one and a half, one and a half, and one. Then the next week, take one and a half, one and one. The third week, take one, one and one. Then one, one and a half. And then one, half and a half. And then half, half, half. Then half, nothing, half. Half, nothing, nothing. And then nothing. Because you will wean yourself off of those if you're doing the walking. Because you can't be not producing the dopamine in your brain and stopping this from putting dopamine into your brain. Yeah, I understand. For example, uh, talking back to ping pong, I, when I when I play ping pong, it's like fifty percent or eighty percent better. Everything yeah. is better. I, after I, you've had the, after you've had the medication. Yeah, yeah, I, I still have the medication. Yes, but but yes. with when, did, when does it feel, when does it feel better? What makes it feel better? What well, after I play ping pong. It's, no, you feel better afterwards, yeah. It's 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 just like a day and night difference. Right, yeah. 
Very I nice. would say that's that's got to do with the production of another type of um, um, chemical in your brain. Yeah. Um, I can't think of it offhand, but everybody knows it. It's mm. not endorphins. It may be endorphins, but mm. you see, when you're playing, you, you get this whether you're sick or not. You feel you get a high, as they call it, after yeah, the but, game. That's what. Yeah, but that's yeah, what I, you have. I, I have to think about. For example, I cannot hit the ball if I don't think about it. Well, that that's obvious, yes. But when you've played again, you've got this this high that you build up, which you would have if you were well, and you didn't have Parkinson's. You still get that high when you've played a game. You feel good after playing a game. You might feel tired, but you feel good, right? But, but I, I have to I have to uh, pre pre think. For example, if I hit, uh, uh, got four, to, I have to think about it in advance. Well, that's what you, what I've told you. You've got to do with your walking. Yeah, yeah, that's you've what got, I mean. You've got to think simple. about everything. Yeah, it's very yeah. tiring to do that, but it works. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not playing automatically. No, you can't. You can't walk automatically. You can do nothing automatically. Uh -huh. You don't need to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wonderful. Did you uh, tell me? Did you ever act in? in, in yes. Have, you did. Yeah. You look it's like in a book. It's in your book. You haven't read the book yet. <laughs> I, I read it, but I forgot it. Okay. Yeah, I, I did a lot of acting when I was young, okay. in my early, in my twenties and thirties. Yeah. But then my business sort of took over, and uh, yeah. I didn't have time to do acting. Yeah. You, but I'm not acting. I mean, this is me. <laughs> yeah, I understand. I understand, but you have very good expressions, and. Uh, and uh, you speak clearly. Yes. So that the... I did. My Parkinson's took that away from me. You know that. Yes, yes, yes. It took some something away, but not well, everything. Almost everything. I couldn't for, for, for form words, I, I, and I, I couldn't put words together. I, I just couldn't talk properly. And I ran a big company, and I had to speak to um, um, stock exchange meetings and, you know, very um, important affairs, and I couldn't do it anymore. That's why, I, you know, I gave up its fighting and losing battle. Well, it doesn't look like you're losing to me. No, no because now I don't have that worry running a big company. I understand. I don't, I don't have, I, I avoid stress like a plague. Anything stresses me, I don't do it. Okay. And for yeah. me, it's opposite. Everything what stresses me, I do it. Sorry, everything? For me, everything is opposite. Whatever stresses me, I do it. Well, then, then you've got to stop doing it. <laughs> but some things don't stress you. Work doesn't stress you. It's, it's, you know, the problems that come as a result of what you're doing. Those are the stress. That's what stresses you. Yeah, yeah. You know, most stress comes from people. Your relationship with other people. That's true. And now, if you were to explain to those people what it's doing to you, because they won't know, yeah. and you're not being nasty, you're being honest, and this is fact, you say, this worries me. When you do that, it worries me. Or when you ask me to do this, it worries me. Now, yeah. if we can find a solution to that, then I won't have this stress and I will enjoy your company the way I've always enjoyed your company. Yeah, yeah. And that, that goes with your children and it goes with your wife and your parents. You know, if you, you don't still have parents. But um, you, you, you've you got the same problem with all your relationships. You've got to not allow anything to stress you. You've got to talk about it and you've got to find solutions because everybody wants to find solutions yeah, unless yeah. They, they don't care a damn about you. So... When you talk about it, they understand. We just don't talk. With Parkinson's, we just get stressed. We start to shake. And yeah. they don't know what's going on. Correct. If you were to say to them, look, you've just stressed me. What you just said stresses me. And they won't, they won't jump down your throat. They're going to say, oh, why? And you tell them why. Yeah, yeah. And then the stress goes away. It doesn't happen anymore. So yeah. you've got to work at these things. It's wonderful advice. Yeah, it's one wonderful advice. Thank you. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh.
you've got to start walking, right? It doesn't matter how long you, how often you play ping pong and enjoy your ping pong. <laughs> yes, I, I would start walking. Yes, okay. So do, you, do you know what I mean by as fast as you can? Um, it's, uh, tell me, I think I know, but maybe you can tell me okay. more. It's all to do with your breathing. And of course, your muscles. Your muscles get stronger as you do it more, so you go faster from doing it more. But the speed of your breathing, your breathing, or the speed of what you do walking, is completely controlled by the amount of oxygen you're getting into your body. So, if you think you're walking as fast as you can, and you can still talk to somebody, you still have spare oxygen, and you're not doing, you're not walking as fast as you can. So you've got to put more effort into the walking to get to a point where you can only say two words or maybe three words between breaths. You, you can't say, Mary had a, a little lamb. Do you understand? understand. If, I, I'm, um, I'm, I've seen people in the organization that are in this walk for life. They used to talk to each other all the way around. Yeah, yeah, and they, yeah. thought they, they thought they were going as fast as they could. They were just enjoying themselves. Well, I don't mind. They, they were there to enjoy themselves. But if you've got Parkinson's and you want to get to the, get out of Parkinson's, you've got to walk as hard as you can. And the best way to measure it is to see if you can say two words, it's fine. If you can't say anything, you're going too fast. If you can say more than two words, you're going too slow. So, And that will keep changing because you, if you measure, sorry, you want to say something, but I'll, I'll finish. If you want to measure, which you've got to do, how far you walked in that one hour, well, you won't start at one hour, you start at 10 minutes if you can. Yeah. See how far you walk in 10 minutes. And then every second day, walk the same, the same space, the same direction, and see how far you walk every day. And after two weeks, you will have walked a lot further than you did the first day, okay. which tells you that you are getting better, right? Yeah, strong. Now, uh, strong is. Uh, after two weeks, you add a little bit of time, maximum five minutes. So if you start at 10 minutes and you're able to do another five minutes after two weeks, then you do 15 minutes for two weeks. Then you do 20 minutes for two weeks. Then 25, then 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, and you stay at 60. When you're doing 60, which is one hour, what you did in those first 10 minutes will be maybe half what you're now doing. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. that tells you you're getting better. Yeah, right? Yeah. And it keeps on getting better until you get to your limit. My limit was at the age of 64 when I was walking 10 kilometers in an hour. Uh, sorry, in 70 minutes. In other words, I was doing seven minutes a K. Now, seven minutes a K for a man of 60 odd. And a man at eight of eighty odd is a good time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, whatever it is, it is. You know, I, there's no what you've got to get to or what you should be doing. It's what you can do. Your body, your lungs. Okay. Did you ever smoke? No. No. no you're lucky. Mm. Okay. Uh, you you can clear the lungs from you know from smoking. Not a hundred percent, but using whatever you use, you make better. The body thrives on use. It, dis it disintegrates from non-use. Mm. Okay? Yeah. Now, you know that. You know that. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for, 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 for participating, for showing. Uh, we, we, will, we, we wanted to establish words in your name. Yes. So, and we still were not able to put that together. But just that you know. You have a you have a huge uh, uh, respect here. Thank um, you. Yeah, huge respect. Now, Nina, um, if you'd like to do a Zoom talk with all the people, okay. now they call they call it a conference talk. Yes. You know, yes, it works very well, and I can talk to them all as if I'm there. Yeah, fantastic, you know? fantastic. Okay. We, we will do that. Please we'll, do. Yeah, when we when we when we put uh, when when we gather it together again. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Okay. We'll do that. That that okay. will be fantastic. Right. Yeah. It will be fantastic. And if you know how to set up a Zoom, I I don't know how to set it up, but they just give me their number and and a code or something, and 
I put it in and then we're talking. Yes, I did the same thing, but I finally made a count. So I will I will explore a little bit that. Uh, good. Okay. Good. This, this is still good. This still works for me. Uh, good. Okay. And, and uh, I, I can tell you something for uh, when you want to record on Skype, you, you have a record button. You can record, but you have to stop recording before end. Otherwise, it won't be saved. I see. Okay. So I'll stop but I, I don't. 